What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Rachel and welcome to today's video. Today we are at Coda CrossFit Iron View in Lafayette, Colorado and we're going to be doing a day of training CrossFit style with competitive CrossFit athlete and chiropractor, the one and only M. Boyet! Alright guys, we're here with M. Boyich and we're going to go through a day of training with her CrossFit style because she's a competitive CrossFit athlete. But before we do that, let's get into a little bit of M's athletic background and how she got into CrossFit. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so I actually played all the sports in yeah. high school. I was a gymnast, I played soccer, I played volleyball, okay. I played uh, collegiate soccer at St. Ambrose, and then I played rugby at oh, chiropractic cool. school at okay. Palmer. So they have a rugby team? They do. What? <laughs> Who knew? Um, but I found CrossFit actually in, I think that was 20, 2013. Yeah, okay. I think it was 2013, so a little gotcha. bit ago. Um, and it just, it had all the sports in yeah. it. It had the competitiveness, nice. it had the adrenaline rush, and so. I was addicted day one. Did obviously. you lift prior to that, or is that when you first? Yeah, we lifted in sport okay. for sure. Gymnastics too. There was yeah. the, the conditioning, strength nice. stuff like that. So I had a pretty eclectic background in that way. Nice. But um, yeah, I would say strength has always been one of my strengths. Very cool. All right, so 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. There we are. That's eight years of CrossFit, guys. So with CrossFit, what are you training for now? Like Mostly life, yeah. Okay. Because, um, well, we do have a goal. We're on team for Coda Iron View, so yeah. we're gonna give it a go at the CrossFit Games this year that's and see. Not if we can necessarily make it. just for life. <laughs> that's that's, the, a, that's goal. a big goal. Yeah. yeah. CrossFit Games as a team it with is. the Coda CrossFit team. Yeah. So okay. Coda CrossFit Iron View is gonna be our, our debut right. year. We did pretty well last year and weren't nice. really training, so Sweet. we're just having fun and gonna give it a good go this year. All right. So sure. CrossFit Games, look out for Team Coda. M's on that team. So now we're going to get into the day of training. I'm going to film a little bit of what she's doing today and you're following what kind of training program? Yeah, so we, pro we follow Proven Fitness, which okay. is um, Shane Orr and Tia. Yeah. Obviously everyone knows Tia Claire too. You might know her. <laughs> she is truly the Proven <laughs> Fitness woman in the world. So. Right the name has a good ring to it. Okay. But um, yeah, it covers all of my weaknesses, which there are plenty of. So okay. <laughs> it's my favorite program cool. to follow. So how many days a week are you training? So we have five active days of training, okay. one active recovery, and then one full on rest day. Okay. And um, what, like on a training day like today, what does the breakdown typically look like? So we have two to three strength pieces, okay. and then we usually have one metabolic conditioning piece, okay. which is just you sweat straight through yeah. depending on the, the time frame, um, and then usually a conditioning piece as well where okay. we get some machinery in there. So this is a workout? Compete track. Compete track, guys. And <laughs> She's old school and printed this paper out. This is a real paper. This is not on the phone. It's on digital. She printed it <laughs> on paper. And walk us through what today's workout yes. is. Yes. Okay. So today's workout, we already did our strength portions. Um, the workout is called Mushu. It's Mulan theme. Um, and so it'll be six rounds, three minutes each for max reps of 65 double unders, 14, 10, which means men and women, uh, Cal Row and then max reps in the remaining time of ring muscle ups, which is a very tough skill for me. So <laughs> you came on a great yeah. day. <laughs> um, and then the following workout will be a 12 minute AMRAP. You complete as many rounds and, and reps. So that just means you keep going till the time runs out. Uh, 12 devil's press at 35 pounds, uh, 90 pound sled push for 50 feet. 12 dumbbell power cleans at 35 pounds and a sled pull 90 pounds at 50 feet, which we're gonna make her okay. jump in I for. I think I can handle that <laughs> small piece of the workout. But it started with, let's talk about, it started with this weightlifting portion yeah. of all of these snatches. So walk mm -hmm. us through what that was. So we had a three, three tier uh, strength today. Uh, the first one was just a regular hang power snatch, which is the wide grip uh, from the waist to overhead. And then we had a low hang snatch, which went into the full squat. And that one was below the knee. So okay. we worked up to on those sets. I got to 150 on the first one and 170 on the second one, which was good for me because those are uh, I'm good at That's lifting, heavy. but those are tough movements. Sorry. Heavy. <laughs> they really, really make it tough. Um, and then the last portion was just snatch pulls. So that's where you do almost like a very intense full deadlift yep. at that weight with a snatch grip instead. Right on. So, yeah. All right. That is today's training session with M Boyish. Let's do it. Let's go. 
So, Em, what do you like most about CrossFit? Um, I like how much it trains me, the community, um, to just constantly be tackling weaknesses. I think it's like the one place in the world that you have to ditch that victim mentality and just tackle the shit you're bad at. So, <laughs> it keeps me accountable for sure. Em just finished up all of that snatch work. She did fantastic. Thank you. Uh, and now we're moving on to what's next? We're going to hit Mushu, that we explained. So that one has the uh, double unders, which is two. The, okay. the rope moves twice, your feet move once. So quick jump rope, um, and then a 10 calorie row, followed by as many muscle ups as we can get in the time remaining. All right. Exciting. Round she loves muscle ups, so this is going to be a great workout. Here we go. <laughs> so you can you, hate on my forms, okay? I'm yeah. working on it. What do you need to work on with muscle ups? Uh, a lot of strict pull ups, strict dips. Um, I mean, to do one even, you should be able to do a lot of strict work, so um, that's what I do. Uh, nice, <laughs> and nice. And then we take days like these to work on it, so. Very cool. Form is coming along. Not there yet, but we'll be. Who's, uh, who's on the CODA team? So we have a lot of really good competitors right now. Maggie, Boyich, my wife, me, Kevin, Schutz, and then uh, Casey McAllister. So All right. Two and owners you, of Coda Iron View, best gym in Colorado. And you typically work out with Maggie, yeah? Yes, yeah, daily with her. We try to get at least one team session in a week, sometimes yes. more, so. You guys didn't know who Maggie was. Oh shit. <laughs> All right, guys. She just finished up that portion of the workout, which is called Mushu. Was that Mushu? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With the double unders, rowing, and the ring muscle ups. Ring muscles. And before we move on to the next piece, Em, tell me a little bit about what your nutrition and eating looks like. Okay. Well, I'm actually a type one diabetic, oh, okay. so my body doesn't make insulin. Yeah. So um, I use intermittent fasting as a means to lower the amount, the total amount of insulin that I have to take every day. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so I usually will eat from noon to eight, but okay. nothing outside of that gosh window. Okay. Um, and when I do eat, I eat a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I eat about 3,000, sometimes 3,200 yeah. 3, yeah. calories a day. That's a lot. Um, I eat a lot of steak, a lot of meat. Um, I am typically paleo, so I don't eat grains, I don't eat anything refined, no refined carbohydrates, um, mostly because they're not helpful for my insulin. But <laughs> Do you have to wear like an insulin pump? Or so I don't wear an insulin pump. Okay. I have um, a long-acting insulin and then I take insulin as needed okay. when I eat. I eat less times okay. throughout the day. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, but awesome. I check my blood sugar yeah. like in 12 to 15 times a day. Okay. So yeah. I'll check it at the beginning. I'll check it in a minute here. Yeah. <laughs> check it in between workouts yeah. and make sure everything's up the floor. Well, I think that's saying something for other type 1 diabetics that you can be competitive in Absolutely. CrossFit in sports. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I know. There's definitely a stigma set around it that you know you're less competitive yeah. or, or whatnot, but. Um, no, it's made it like a less of a, or more of a no excuse yeah. type thing, and right it's honestly helped me manage it so much. So that's awesome. Appreciate CrossFit for that. Yeah, <laughs> that's legit. All right, so we're going to move on to the next piece of the workout. Yeah. We're moving on to the next piece of the workout that I am going to jump she in on. She no choice, she promised. <laughs> M, tell them what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to have a 12-minute AMRAP. So we're, we'll do 12 devil's press, 
um, which is a burpee with a press up overhead. Um, we're also going to do a 50 foot uh, sled pull. We're going to do 12 dumbbell power cleans and then finish it off with either a rope climb or a legless rope climb. Um, throw some skill work in there. Heck yeah, she's going to do what she said there. I'll do my skill version, but I'm still going to participate. Yes, she is. She's here. Let's do it. <laughs>